this one's number 25. Um, for this one, again, to evaluate the inspection, we need to make sure we plug in the values for b, c, a, and b. So we see that b is worth 9, so we're going to plug in a 9 for the square. So it's going to be 9 squared minus 2. And whenever I'm plugging them in, again, I like to put parentheses around them so I can remind myself that's what I plugged in for that value. It's because we say 9 is equal to b. So I can replace the b with the expression 9. All right. So I have 9 minus 2 times c squared, which will be 4 squared, divided by a, which is 12, plus 4 minus 9. OK? Now we just need to apply our order of operations. And again, when we have a rational expression, we want to simplify the numerator and the denominator. So simplifying this, I'll have 81 minus 2 times 4 squared, which is 16. And then here, there's nothing else I can do. 12 plus 4 minus 9. All right, I'm going to work, carry this over here, because the next thing I want to do is apply my multiplication, right? So I can do 2 times 16. So I have 81 minus 32 over 12 plus 4 minus 9. Now what I simply need to do is just add up um, or combine my terms up top. And when I do adding and subtracting the denominator, I just work from left to right. So 81 plus 32 is going to be what, 49? Divided by 12 plus 4, which is going to be 16, minus 9, which would be 7. And then 49 divided by 7 is 7. Cool. Ta-da. Done. Thanks. What's up, bud? How you doing? Excellent. Um, if you guys could open up your books, please, real quick.